Get going, get going, quick. This ranch belongs to grandfather, and you're not going to take it away from him. <laughs> That's what we're doing, ain't it? Pack up and get. We ain't got all day. Hurry up, get your stuff. Come on. Why, that's Eileen Carey. Who's chasing her? I don't know. We're soon going to find out. Eileen. Well, your horse stepped in a gova hole, Miss Eileen. There's some more bullies back at the house trying to run Grandfather off the ranch. Come on, trail along, boys. Come on, hurry up. I'm going as fast as I can. You've got enough stuff now. Get go!
Is everything all right, Grandpa? Yes, darling, now. What are these hombres after? They said there was something wrong with my piling claim and that I had to get out. Oh, that's it. Huh? Trying to bluff him out so you can take possession and file on the place. Well, maybe we mistook the location. Yeah, maybe. But there's been a lot of mistaken locations around here in the last year. Now, you birds get going and forget the way back. Ken, I want to thank you for all that you've done. Gee, that's all right, Eileen. I don't think they'll be bothering you anymore. I hope not. Gee, Eileen, I gotta be getting along. Why, what's the hurry, Ken? Well, you see, my brother's bringing these troop of Boy Scouts in for their summer vacation. You know. Can I come over and see them? Sure you can. Anytime. Well, I'll be there. Do you expect me? Bye. Goodbye, Ken. Sprouted up in the last year, young fellow, haven't you, huh? Well, a little. Hello, Earl. I'm mighty glad to see you again. You're looking fine yourself, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> you run along and finish your work now, Eric. Okay, I'll see you later. Right oh. Hello. How's your uncle? Ah, oh, he's swell. Everything going all right? No, it ain't. Some smart individual has organized a bunch of land grabbers. They're trying to run every settler out of this whole valley. Well, that's too bad. Do you have any idea who it is? No. But I think the Skinner Land and Cattle Company is behind all the trouble. Now that we've got a hold of Cherry's place, we're all set in the valley. Yeah. All set of Pete and the boys don't fall down. <laughs> There's not a chance of that. Here they come now, boss. I told you to stay on the ranch after you ran Terry off. We didn't run him off. You didn't run him off? Nope. Ken Cartwright run us off instead. Say, just what did happen? Well, Carrie's girl got away and went for help. Just as we had persuaded old man Carrie to get, why, uh, Cartwright horn to play away from us. So Carrie is still on the ranch, eh? Yep. See that you don't muff it this time. Cartwright is getting in our way. He's a tough hombre to buff. 
I've got a way to handle him. Your brand is an open S, isn't it, Lariat? Yep. And uh, Cartwright uses a box A, right? Right. Well, it wouldn't be hard to change an open S to a box eight, like this. Now, would it? Why, it'd be a cinch. There's a lot of my cattle in the south pasture. Good. You got the idea, Pete. We got you. Get over to Indian Joe's hangout. Ride through Rocky Pass. Who is it, Harry? Pete with Hank and Tom. All clear, Harry? Yeah, all right, Pete, go ahead. Signal engine Joe that they're on their way. Joe. Joe. Yeah. Pete's coming through the pass with Hank and Tom. All right. I want you to round up some of Larry Ed Smith's cattle and run them in the corral. All right. We get them tomorrow, huh? Stubby, where's him? Him? He's got important business tonight over at old man Carey's place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Skinner, he pretty shrewd man, eh? <laughs> Sounds pretty.
Now, look here, I've been... Don't worry. I don't think you'll have any trouble holding on to property till November. And your grandfather can prove up on it and get a clear deed. I hope so. What's the matter? Nothing. But I can't help feel that I'm selfish, leaving him all alone there. I don't know. I feel something terrible is going to happen. If you feel that way about it, maybe you better go back. Always follow a hunch, you know. I believe you're right. Sounded like a shot. That's Stubby Lane. I know him anywhere. Oh, Ken, let's hurry. I feel something dreadful's happened. That's all I need, mean, Eileen. Uh... I think he's going to be all right, Eileen. You get some water. I'm going for help. Uncle Ken. Saddle some horses. I'll get the first aid kit. All right. Bill Carrier. He's badly wounded. You stay here and take care of him. I'm going after Stubby Lane. I'll take care of him. That gun was set so when Carrie opened that door, he'd get the full charge. Too late, Eileen. Tom, you go and clean out the cattle out of the brush. Boy, 
as well go down here and round up 20 steers and take them back to the corral. Come on. Right. Hey, no, you don't. no, you don't. Now take it easy. You hear? Take it easy. Where is Stubby? Where is he? I don't know. You know, all right. I'll gamble if he's not out there rustling cattle, he's hiding out in Joe's. I'd drag him out of there, too, if I could find some way to get through that pass. I got it. I know.
Wait a minute. Bring me a drink. Here's your drink, Stubby. Jeff, you got your group ready for nature hike? Yes, sir. Fine. Don't okay. stay away too long. Oh, we won't. Come on, gang. Uh, Let's go. Come on, Jeff. Wrong. Wrong. Be good. Have dinner ready for us. We will. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. Yes, sir. You got your group ready for yes, signaling? Yes, we have. All ready, fellas? Yes, sir. This will give us a good chance to... Brush up on our signaling. Let's you go. need it. You need it. Be yeah. sure and brush up on it. Yeah. All of you. Cartwright's taking Stubby away. Tied to his saddle. Don't let him get through the path, boys. Something must have happened to Uncle Ken. We'll follow Tarzan and see where he leads us. That guard stops us. Just say hello. Don't say anything else. It's Tom and Stubby. Hello, Harry. All clear, Stubby. Go ahead. It's a double cross. the sheriff and his deputies. Vamos.
Ouais, bon. His own men shot him. How was Stubby killed? He got plugged by the lookout when him and Cartwright beat it out of the pass. But I can't understand how Cartwright got through to Indian Joe's. He must have slipped in when we run the stock through. Hmm. Are you all set to have Cartwright arrested for cattle stealing? Sure. The sheriff's got the warrant now. Have him thrown in jail. He's gonna mess up our whole deal if we don't get him out of the way. I'll meet you at Indian Joe's. Ken. Hello, boys. Hello. Where are the boys? They went over to Gopher Flat for a workout. Oh, I see. Why, it's the sheriff. Will we search the place, Sheriff? Oh, have a look around. Hello, Ken. Hello, Sheriff. Looks like you're a busy day. Sure is, Ken. And I hate it. Didn't know you ever hated anything. Yep. I hate dirty, double-crossing coyotes. Ken, you're under arrest for rustling cattle. Me? Lariat Smith swore to the warrant. Claims he lost a bunch of steers out of the south pasture. Oh, ben. Oh, Buffalo! <laughs> Looks too good to be true. These hides come off my steers. You see, my brand, the Open S, has been changed to a box eight. Cartwright's brand. Well, that's a lie, Sheriff. Laird's cattle was driven through Rocky Pass by Indian Joni's gang. Oh, let's get going. I'll be in town any time you want me, Sheriff. You'll take him to town right now. He's got a warrant for your arrest. Round the barn. Head him off. Back here. Back here. Is giving us a slip. Ride to the ranch and pick him up if he comes back. All right. How do you feel, Sheriff? <laughs> 
Never felt better in my life. You going after King? No, sir. I'm going to wait right here till he gets back. <laughs> Eileen carries a prisoner at Indian Joe's in Rocky Pass. I want you to rouse all the ranchers in this neighborhood. Tell them to meet me at my ranch. Understand? Yes, sir. We understand. I'm going to slip in and try to catch the lookouts that are guarding the pass. When I do, I'll send you a heliograph signal. That signal will mean that the pass is open, and that the sheriff and the ranchers can come on through and take Indian Joe by surprise. You get it? You're taking a desperate chance, Ken, tackling those men alone. Can't help it, Earl. There's no telling what will happen if Eileen Carey's not rescued right now. All right. Which way do we go? Now listen, boys. Jimmy, you and Sam take the north road. Johnny, you and Bill, go over by Walker's. And Eric, you take the wagon road. Tommy? Okay. All right, boys, get mounted. Everything all right? No. Cartwright got away from the sheriff. He got away? Well, maybe he'll try to come back through the pass again. He can't come through the pass. I've got it well protected. But the sheriff threatened to bring the federal soldiers here to clean us out. But he can't do that. The pass belongs to me. Does Cartwright know we've got the girl here? I don't think so. What's the trouble, son? Ken Cartwright wants you at his ranch right away. Well, what are you waiting on? Go through. Yeah, Larry Smith and Skinner rode in.
Well, what's it going to be now, Harry? Oh, I don't know. A little seven up, I guess. You know what happened last time? Well, you can't always have bad luck. There it goes. We'll have this. Reach. And reach high. Hold it. I turn around back to back. That's it. Take it easy. Put your hands down. Take it easy, boys. Howdy, Sheriff. Oh, hello. Um, glad to see you, Sheriff. Any others get here yet? What others? What are you driving at? Well, Eileen Carey is a prisoner at Indian Joe's. Ken's going to see him when the pass is clear. He wants to surprise Joe's gang and rescue her. Eileen Carey. My boys are out rounding up Ken's friends. I'm a friend of his. This is the last job Indian Joe is going to do in this valley. Say... There's Ken Signal from the past, Sheriff. Answer it. If any more of the ranchers get here, tell them to come on through the path. Okay. Wait a minute. We're going to be pushing them off of here. You get the heliograph, Eric. Sheriff and his posse. Ken! Oh, Ken! What's going on in? We've 
we've got to overhaul it. Signal Indian Joe that they're coming through. You've heard a little too much. I've heard enough to know that it was you who sent Stubby Lane to murder my grandfather. Oh, you have, eh? Yes, and I know that you and Lariat Smith framed Ken Cartwright. Boss, the sheriff and his posse are coming through the pass. Put her back. Get everybody and stop them from coming through. Sir's posse is coming through the pass. When that fire shot, that'll be your signal. All right, get ready. Okay. Quiet to be safe. Let's search the place. We're trapped. Get the cover. Yeah, I got plugged leaving Indian Joe's. Where's Ken Cartwright? Well, he went to the pass. He's one of us all the men he can get. The sheriff's trapped at Joe's. We'll find Ken and tell him. Take care of him, boys. No more boys at the ranch? Not a man. All right, then. We'll give him an army. Soldiers, they're coming through the pass. Hi, 
The soldiers are coming, but we can get the sheriff before they get here. Then we'll make our getaway. All right, come on. They're going to rush us. Gang boys, I'm going after Eileen. Go ahead. You're the only one that can pin anything on me. But I don't think you'll talk. How do you feel? I'd like to have a drink. Men talking. Skinner is the head of Indian Joe's gang. Oh. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Sheriff. Well, you found her all right. Yeah. Sheriff, there's a man killed Bill Carey. And frame me on that cattle rustling charge. Bye, Eric. Goodbye. Goodbye. Give me plenty of time to get back for the wedding. I will, all right, Earl. Bye. Bye. Right. Hey! Forward! Hi! Bye! Bye. 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 